So it's early morning here in the micro orchard. Figured I'd introduce you to a few of my persimmon cultivars. This is the oldest tree we have. It is 11 years old. It is a Yates American persimmon. It is bearing prolifically this season. There are somewhere upwards of a few thousand fruits on it right now. These will continue to drop through June and July, but there should be several hundred fruits by the end of the season. They ripen into October, usually. This is Proc, which is a selection from a New York breeding program. It has a large pumpkin apricot flavored fruit. It's hard to describe it. It's a little milder than your typical American persimmon. Yates is really rich. Proc is really mild. Some people prefer Proc for eating out of hand. I prefer Yates. Something I grafted newly this season. It's Sophie's Gift. This is a fourth generation Ukrainian hybrid persimmon. You can see I did a couple different bark grafts. Only one of them has substantially taken. This is Elmo A118 from the Claypool breeding program. It is a very large fruit. The tree is a little bit larger than your average American persimmon, um, but the fruit is well worth growing. Very delicious. This is A-33 Prairie Sun, which is one of the best flavored fruits to come out of the Claypool breeding program. Um, these clay pool trees are, these two are perhaps two of the best from that particular program. This is Nikitskaya Bordovaya, Nikita's Gift, which is a hybrid of American and Asian persimmon. And you can see by the leaf that it is more Asian than American. It's about 75% khaki persimmon, 25% American persimmon, and the American persimmon lends it a little bit more hardiness uh, in a northern climate than you'd get from an, an Asian persimmon. Um, it's not any hardier per se than the hardiest Asian persimmon. Uh, however, it does ripen its wood a little bit better for dormancy to get through our winters here in Massachusetts, unlike Asian persimmons, which require longer summers. Over here is another clay pool persimmon. Uh, this is, I forget, but it's becoming something more useful. It's a redundant variety sold by One Green World. Um, I believe this is Prairie Dawn A55 something. Uh, it's not, not particularly useful to me. This is one of the persimmons from the Derevyanko breeding program in Ukraine. Uh, Vasil Darovyanko is the man responsible for Sophie's Gift, uh, which I have another graft of here. This is a, a baby Sophie's Gift. You can see a little bud just starting right there. Um, and many of these persimmons back here are either third or fourth generation persimmons uh, from Ukraine. Uh, they're in various stages of just leafing out, seeing as it's only mid-June, um, but by July they should have full leaves on them. They won't grow much this year, but next year I expect them all to take off as they were grafted on 10-gallon rootstocks. So um, here we have Mount Goverla, Hoverla, which is Ukrainian third generation. Mount Roman Kosh, which is Ukrainian third generation. God's Gift, uh, Bozidar, which is Ukrainian third generation. And this is Dr. Kazas, which is a Jerry Lehman persimmon. Uh, it's not Ukrainian, although it is derived from Nikita's Gift. It is an American third generation persimmon uh, back crossed with uh, Virginiana. So I believe it would be half Virginiana and half uh, khaki. 
This is Sovietsky, a third generation persimmon of unknown origin. Came from uh, Ukraine. This is Journey, which I believe is an American creation. 12.5% khaki. Uh, very interesting. Uh, you can see the buds. They were bud grafted. They're just beginning to leaf out. You can see them here. This is another Derevyanko persimmon, fourth generation Ukrainian. Um, and this is perhaps Jerry Lehman's best persimmon, Barbara's Blush, named after his wife. Um, and that concludes the persimmon collection here at Aku Farm.